Hi and welcome to program 28 in this series of programs and tutorials for TradeStation Easy Language. Uh, program 28 is very similar to program 27 except in this case instead of using the MACD we're using Stochastic and uh, I've got a program 28 worksheet set up on the screen here. Um, incidentally if you're not familiar with our website then please go to markplex.com and uh, you'll see some more information about program 28 there just simply click on the programs and uh, you'll see program 28 at the bottom of the list so firstly the program um, calculates the stochastic and if I just um, increase the size of the screen here you'll see at the bottom of the screen that we have the stochastic displayed and uh, if we just mouse over there we'll see that the uh, the red line represents the OFAS K, the white line the OFAS D, and the green the O slow D. And you'll notice also that the green line is slightly thicker than the others, and that is because we're using the green line to determine divergence. So there is a user input that uh, enables you to determine which of these three lines you use to calculate divergence. So let me just explain the way this program works and again it's similar to program 27 what we do is we look for matching pivots between the price action and the oscillator and they don't necessarily have to happen on the same bar they can happen within a user tolerance of each other and again that tolerance is specified in the inputs and we'll look at that in a moment and what the program does it stores these pivot pairs in an array and then every time a new pivot is found it is compared with the, uh, the the rather the pair of pivots is compared with the uh, other pairs of pivots included in the array and uh, if we just go back to well let's first of all just look at the uh, the inputs so if we go format analysis techniques then double click on program 28 and I'll just uh, go through the uh, the various inputs so first of all the maximum array size this can be a maximum of five that means we can have a maximum of five pivot pairs stored in the array I've got it set at three at the moment so it means we have three uh, pivot pairs stored in the array which stock determines whether we're using fast K um, fast D or slow D three being slow D one being fast K and uh, two being fast D the uh, price H and L and C these are inputs into the stochastic as is stochastic length and then smoothing length one two and uh, also the smoothing type one being the original type and two being the trade station legacy formula uh, lower color and upper color these determine the color that the lines are drawn on the price chart if a divergence occurs left strength and right strength these determine how many bars to the left and right respectively there are in pivots either on price or on the stochastic bar tolerance this is the input that determines how many bars apart the uh, the pivot in price and pivot in the stochastic can occur so um, if it's three it means there's going to be less than three bars separating them and then oversold and overbought simply draw the horizontal lines on the chart so they're the inputs um, as I mentioned this will can also be applied to radar screen and scanner and uh, if we just arrange all on the screen you'll see that uh, I've got it applied to radar screen here and I've also linked radar screen with the chart and uh, also it can be used with the scanner now one thing with both the, uh, the scanner and radar screen that you need to be a little bit careful of is if you just uh, click on the indicate we go format analysis techniques and we're going to do program 28 and if we click on the general tab you'll notice here we've got this thing saying load additional bars or rather load additional data for accumulative calculations I've made that 200 this is because the stochastic is an accumulative calculation and so if you were to click on this details button you'll see that TradeStation recommends a factor of three and a half times the length for slow stochastic so we've got uh, perhaps overkill here but I put in 200 bars and uh, you'll also need to if you go into the uh, scanner 
and uh, double click on once you've inserted the program into the scanner and if you click on scan, uh, scan criteria and click on this little plus here you'll see the uh, the inputs that we were just discussing and also if you go down uh, a little bit lower here you'll see here again load additional uh, data so uh, you'll need to make sure that that is set up there as well anyway uh, i hope uh, you might find this program useful if you're uh, interested in how you go about applying it in the scanner then you might want to just review the video for program 27 which is a different program but very similar and uh, thank you very much